Here's how to find scholarly sources for your criminal justice statistics class. Begin by going to the library website and you'll see OneSearch right at the top. This is a great way to look through all of our databases, over a hundred different ones. So go ahead and let's start really general. Let's go with statistics because a lot of the concepts that you cover in this course are related to statistics more broadly. So we'll enter that keyword and click search. So you'll see a research starter right here at the top. This is a wonderful way to kind of get your feet oriented to the field if you haven't done a lot of statistics lately. This will give you a very general overview. It will define important words that are going to come up in your assignments like levels of measurements, hypotheses, all that fun stuff. So you can go ahead and click statistics and then you want to read the full text. So come over here to the left and click full text. Now this is where it's going to ask you to log in. Bethel pays for our students to have access to this exclusive content. So you'll need to sign in and let them know that we got you covered. So you just click sign in and then you'll sign in with your Bethel email address. So you want to enter the at BethelU.edu and all, all those good things. Then you'll see this overview about statistics. And this is a great way of supplementing your textbook. Let's say you want to look at some definitions of terms. You can kind of scroll through here and right here, principal terms, these are important words. So I know in your assignments, you'll see questions about hypotheses. There's stuff about levels of measurement. So you can kind of scroll up through here and there you'll see four classes or types of measurements. So this will just give you a quick, easy read to make sure you understand these basic principles about statistics and then we can apply it to criminal justice. So let's hit this back button and now you can get fancy. If you click on the advanced search, which is right under the text box, it'll give you so many options and we are interested in criminal justice statistics specifically. So you can just add criminal justice right there and click search and you'll see all kinds of results here. So there's introductions to criminal justice. You can narrow down your results by coming over here on the left and clicking full text because we want to get results where we can read the complete article. You can also make sure that you're getting scholarly journals. Sometimes you'll see um, newspaper stories and magazines that'll pop up, but you want to look at the scholarly sources. And now you've got a much shorter list and you can look for a title. Let's say for your first assignment, you're interested in how to use statistics for criminal justice. So you could click on this article on the full text. And the complete article pops up right here in the middle. Now at this point, you can save it to your computer by clicking that download button over on the right, or you can print it. If you do end up using this in your assignment, make sure you grab that APA reference by coming over here on the right and clicking that little yellow piece of paper. This will do all the hard work for you. You can just scroll to APA and then grab that longer reference and you'll be all set. Now, if you have any questions about your statistics and criminal justice class, you can contact the library seven days a week. We're happy to help you find articles, get logged in, do your APA, all that fun stuff.